Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am about to pop out and head to B and M. So I've got a couple of little bits that I wanna pick up. You guys seem to absolutely love like the store tours and seeing what's new in store. So I thought I would take you guys along with me again today. The things that I need are very boring. I need scrubby brush head things. I need a new clothes horse dryer air or whatever we're going to call it because our one has broken and carpet cleaner <laughs> those are the three things i actually need will i come back with just those three things probably not but i thought i would just take you along we'll see what's new in store i'm sure they'll have some fun kind of autumnal halloweeny whatever kind of bits in there so we'll take a look at that um i always feel like when i make the effort to go to b and m i'll always go and look around the whole store just in case anything's new in so i've not been for a couple of months so it should be interesting to see what they have in store the one i'm going to is the brislington one in bristol if anyone is local to there so yeah let's head out and we'll see what they've got
this time I promise it won't break I'm hoping that things haven't changed Life took us far apart but it never took away my heart Have you been holding it safe? Cause it's been hard Please do not look at the state of the kitchen behind me. Um, so I think that's the quickest I've ever been in B&M. I think that's also the least I have ever spent in B&M. Hello. Hello, I know. Um, I've got to be honest, really wasn't impressed today. I didn't think there was a lot of new stuff. Um, there was no... Come on then. There was no cute kind of autumnal decor bits or anything like that. It was just the same kind of crap, really. They have their Christmas stuff out already, which is shocking to me, but I don't think that's unusual. There was like a whole Christmas aisle, and honestly, it was rammed. Absolutely rammed, super busy in there today. So I know that I didn't film, hello, other doggo. Um, I know I didn't film a lot in store today because it was just really difficult to. Um, also, as soon as I got to B&M, I was like, I really need a wee. Um, so, yeah, for various reasons, I didn't really film a lot. I did get a few bits. I got some cleany bits and some foodie bits, which I'm going to run you through super quickly now. Um, first thing I got, I got some of these, the Skinny Whip bars. I say this every time, I hate that they're called Skinny. Um, but they are quite good little kind of sweet treats. What is going on with my hair? Oh, that's what I was meant to get. Dry shampoo. Oh, I didn't actually get any of the stuff I needed. They didn't have any clothes errors. They didn't have any carpet cleaner. And they didn't have any of um, the scrubby brush head things I wanted. So not really a successful trip today. But anyway, got some of these Skinny Whip bars. They are 96 calories a bar. And they're actually quite good. This is like a little sweet treat. You know, I'm a sugar addict. So got two boxes of those they were one pound per box which i thought was really good i also got a box of these because i just saw them and i kind of thought it's like a blast in the past so the apple and strawberry winders they are 67 calories per roll all natural colors and flavors apparently that was one pound for the box so i thought i would treat us to some of those and I also grabbed, this is something I grab quite often. Um, they do loads of really nice kind of different protein bars and they do like the Bounty Ones, Mars. And they had these, which are the Snickers, peanut butter flavored Snickers. So there's 20 grams of protein in these, I believe. Yeah, 25, 25, 20 grams of protein, 225 calories. Got one for me and one for Steve and none for you. They were £1.49 each, which I feel like is a kind of, that's like the going right for an individual protein bar. Um, and then cleaning stuff. So the first thing I got, I didn't actually need any disinfectant, but I saw this. This is from Astonish. I really like Astonish as a brand. I think Astonish Fabulosa are my two kind of main go-tos, main go-tos, you get me. Anyway, so this is super concentrated, makes up to 12 liters. Apparently it's got essential oils in it as well. Eliminates odors, multi-use, kills 99.9% of bacteria, blah, 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 you know, the drill. Um, this is linen fresh. I absolutely love like just, I don't tend to gravitate towards kind of really floral or anything like that. The other scents they had were rose, and I think that was like an apple or was it like a meadow for, I don't know. Anyway, they had some other ones, but the reason I like this, so you get 300 milliliters in here and it was one pound. There was a Sephora next to it, which was half the size and it was more expensive. So that's, I know everyone's like, 
absolutely mad about Zaflora, but I don't actually tend to buy Zaflora. The only ones I buy are their pet ones. Just because I think if you want to get like nice scents and stuff, they just do like the cheaper ones. They do the same job. I haven't smelled this yet. It's nice. It's linen fresh. That will do the job. So really happy with that. I love the packaging as well. I feel like they've had like a little rebrand that looks super fancy. Um, next up, I got a couple of toilet cleaning products. So normally I get the little tablets that you drop in the toilet. Um, our toilets are like a really awkward shape. They're really difficult to clean when you get in with like the scrubby brush. Um, so one of the things I have, I don't think I've ever seen this. I honestly thought this was um, the stuff you put in your dryer, like your washing machine dryer, like those fragrant things. But this is by Blue. It's called Foam Aroma Self-Acting Fragrance Powder active foam better cleaning action lime scale removal so you get the cap and you fill it up put it in the toilet i think it all foams up cleans it you flush it that smells all right actually ocean mist i went for they had a couple of kind of um more like florally scents but i thought i'd give this a go and see how i get on with that so you get 500 grams in here and this was £2.39, so I reckon it would actually work out a little bit cheaper maybe than the toilet tablets, because it feels like you get a lot of product. And then I also got this. Word of warning, guys, when you pick stuff up in um, in B&M, be so careful with the lids, especially with Sephora and stuff, because people take the lids off to smell it and they don't put them back on. I put this in my trolley and it was like leaking and I not like by very much but I didn't realize until I was at the checkout so just be really really careful I wear a lot of black this is bleach not a good combo but yeah just be super careful you don't get stuff on your hands and then touch your eyes and things like that so this is the duck extra power foaming bleach gel um in pine scent so it actually the reason I got this one it says it's a whitening bleach gel and our toilet like in the bits that are difficult to reach it's clean but it's like a slightly discolored so i just wanted to make sure it's like bleaching it and it looks like nice and clean and fresh so um yeah i thought i would give this a go bleach disinfects and whitens your bowl powerful bubbles lift away dirt and grime as you brush leads a sanitary clean and fresh smell yeah so i thought i would give that a go that was £1.49. They had loads of different duck ones, which were actually a pound. This one was a little bit more expensive, but I wanted the kind of foaming, bleachy situation. So that is everything I got. Not very exciting. All in all, that came to eight to eight pounds. Oh my gosh, I can't use my words today. £10.86. Like I said, I think that's the lowest I've ever, like the least money I've ever spent in B&M before. I was gonna say I'm obviously growing up, <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. It just wasn't very good today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video regardless of the fact that there wasn't a lot of really, really good stuff in it. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.